Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about a geometry word problem. This is a classic standardized math test problem. So let's take a look. The end of a 15-foot ladder rests on top of a 12-foot wall. What is the distance from the bottom of the wall and the bottom of the ladder? This ladder scenario is used a lot in standardized math tests. It's pretty classic. What you're going to want to do is draw this out and keep the Pythagorean theorem in mind. Remember the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so let's draw it out based on what we see in the question. It says here we have a 12 foot wall. Well, I know that walls go up and down. So I'm going to put my 12 here. And then it says the end of a 15 foot ladder rests on top of the 12 foot wall. And I'm going to have my ladder leaning up against the wall and it says it's 15 feet. What is the distance between the bottom of the wall and the bottom of the ladder? So that's going to be this side right here. Now when we're thinking about a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we want to make sure that we, for c, we always use the hypotenuse. This is always c. Now a and b, it doesn't matter. It can be either one of these legs, but the c has to be the hypotenuse or the longest leg of the triangle. So here we have 12, 15, and we don't know the distance here. This is going to be our variable or our unknown. Let's go ahead and make that A, and let's make 12 our B. So if I'm going to put that in terms of the Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to have A squared, which I don't know, plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. Let's go ahead and, and figure these squares out. Well, a squared is always going to be a squared plus 144, which is 12 squared, which you can use your calculator. It's perfectly fine for you to use your calculator. And let's do equals 15 squared, which is 225. In fact, I had to use my calculator to do that just to make sure. Now let's solve just like a normal algebraic equation. So if I'm solving like a normal algebraic equation, I want to go ahead and isolate my variable so I can solve for a. So what I want to do is subtract 144 from both sides. Remember, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. 5 minus 4 is 1. 12 minus 4 is 8. And then this cancels out. So I have a squared equals 81. Then what I do to, to get rid of this squared, I basically take the square root of both sides. And when I do that, I get A equals 9. So our answer is A. Let's take a look at another way in which you'll have to deal with triangles on the GKT, the 612, and the 59 math. You may be given a triangle with some information and some missing information. Right now they're asking us, what is the angle measure for x? Here I have 100 degrees and I have a 4, a 4, and a 3. Well, here's something you need to know. If the two sides of this triangle, if this side and this side are equal, that means this angle and this angle are also equal. Well, a triangle is 180 degrees, okay? That means that the, every single angle, all three angles of a triangle, no matter what kind of triangle it is, will always be 180 degrees. Now, I already know the degrees of one angle, which is 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 100. And 180 minus 100 is 80. Now, that's not, I'm not done yet. I have these two angles equal 80, so I need to divide by 2 in order to get this angle and this angle. When I do so, I get 40 degrees, and that means x equals 40. C.